Hi, this is Mete from CodingMac.com and this is the fifth part of the video series What's New in SharePoint 2016. So in the previous videos, in the first part, we have seen the roadmap and strategy of Microsoft towards releasing SharePoint 2016. In the second part, we have seen the removed and unchanged features in SharePoint 2016. In the third part, I've demonstrated the minerals feature in SharePoint 2016. And in the fourth part, uh, I sh I've showed the fast site creation feature. And now this is the fifth part, which contains the changes in lists and library structure of SharePoint 2016. So here are the new features. The first one is a durable durable links uh, feature. Uh, so this feature provides the users the ability uh, to reach files which are stored on SharePoint, uh, even if the file is moved to another site collection, even if it was uh, archived in a in an archive site collection or if it's moved uh, among different libraries the file will still be accessible from its initial link uh, with its uh, document ID so this seems as the most promising feature in the uh, lists and libraries and there's the image and video preview feature uh, like in Office 365 and file size and list thresholds are going to be extended and uh, for file size if I'm not wrong the new limit will be 10 gigabytes and uh, for the list threshold it's promised to be more than 5,000 but we will see what uh, will the actual limit will be and the open document format uh, will be supported for uh, document library templates uh, as well as the uh, Microsoft Office formats and uh, n now the character support is uh, extended for file names so now you can use characters like tilde or uh, dots in file names for the files stored on SharePoint libraries and there are new sharing capabilities like being able to share a folder uh, as well as files uh, which are stored on SharePoint so uh, looking at those features, really I can't see any real major changes, maybe the durable links feature, but the remaining seem like very minor uh, improvements. And the last thing is library accessibility, so there are new shortcuts when uh, using libraries and uh, for ease of use and I will show you in the demo so let's have the demo of this part yeah I've already uh, opened the document library and I've already uploaded some documents so this one shows the new character support in the older versions I will uh, I wasn't I shouldn't be able to upload a file with that name which starts with a dot which contains those parentheses, the tilde sign, etc. And now these characters are supported, but not all the characters. There is uh, still a limitation of uh, some of the special characters, but at least these are now uh, supported in file name so it will be easier to move the files which are in the file system to SharePoint because when when you are trying to uh, migrate mass amount of 
files to SharePoint from the file system it's always trouble so uh, if you have a business scenario like that you will have less travel and from here now we can share a folder as well as the file and another feature is the ability to preview a video uh, in the listing of features it says uh, the preview is opened when you hover on a video uh, but I was able to do that by clicking on the menu of a video mm, this is the beta 2 version maybe it was fixed in uh, the release candidate version and maybe it will be there in the RTM version and let me see if I'm missing anything yeah the accessibility shortcuts so now I'm clicking alt and N and it creates the new file dialog or if I have uh, if I press alt and U it will create the upload dialog and if I click on uh, I will select this one unselect this one if I click on alt and E oh, the Internet Explorer shortcut came anyway okay <laughs> so yeah it was supposed to come or I'm doing something wrong anyways so now what we need uh, what you need to know is we have some more shortcuts uh, to be used in uh, document libraries so I think I have covered pretty ah the durable links the uh, major one sorry so the durable links uh, feature uh, is available when you install the office online server uh, on on-premises environment for demonstrating it I've I've just enabled the document ID feature uh, on my environment uh, the link of the file will not be like that it will contain the original link of the file and plus uh, at the end of the URL it will contain uh, the ID of the file uh as as i don't currently have the office online server installed in my environment uh this is not not the exact look of it but it will be pretty similar to that one and it will also support uh accessing a file which was moved from one site collection to other site collection so it will be a useful feature I guess so I guess that's all with those features and this is the end of the fifth part please visit codingmac.com for related videos and links and uh, related content thank you for watching and see you in the next part of the video series. Bye.